Hi, all. Uh, we have a treat for everybody today. We have Mihail. Uh, is it Spilhafter? Am I pronouncing it right? Mihail yeah. Spilhafter from Sweden, yes. the father of Shyana, Shia Bay, uh, an icon in flesh and blood. Thank you so much, Mihail. Thank you, sir. Thank you for this opportunity. <clears throat> absolutely, absolutely. So the the way that Mihail and I had met was that uh, we were introduced by a uh, mutual colleague, Scott, and uh, Scott uh, and Mihail uh, made a uh, a set of limited edition ten prints of uh, Cheyenne Diamond Gemini, and I was lucky enough to uh, be selected to uh, be able to purchase one of the 10 prints, number six out of 10. So, Mihail, uh, do you mind uh, just quickly telling us the whole process? About creating uh, this artwork? Yeah, the, the prints and the, uh, the the process. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, it started, actually, actually this work, I got the, I got the commission a year ago, I guess. Oh, it's really? Been a year. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite, I think yeah, more more than a year. Uh, it was one of the first works I did for for uh, uh, the Story Studios. Okay, wonderful. And, I mean, not the first, but it was pretty much like the third or something, you know. Okay. So it's quite quite one of my my oldest for 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 this game. And uh, <clears throat> usually, what I'm doing for when I got this um, this assignment. Usually, uh, I'm not uh, asked for doing such uh, such a deep kind of uh, you know um, research and mm -hmm. um, sketching and stuff. But for this character, uh, it was very specific and unusual, you know, uh, to do also a um, design part, specific design. So, uh, because my process usually starts like. I I got the brief. I got the you know the um, the brief from uh, from the company, and then in the brief usually they say you know we would like to have uh, a character similar to this or you know to look like that. And they they give me some some um, um, very specific sometimes um, guidelines. You know it has to be this class. It has to have this kind of characteristics. <clears throat> And um, but it's very rarely that I'm asked to do also a specific design sheet for that character. Yes, yes. Not, not only the character or only the illustration. Absolutely. Otherwise, I'm just doing. I'm just getting directly in the illustration, whatever that illustration is. If it is a character, or it's a environment, or both. I'm just doing it from from uh, from imagination, from scratch, and I'm doing my sketches, but without designing the character specifically. Okay. For this one, it was quite uh, yeah, quite an uh, interesting process. So we started with uh, with the design, uh, and the design for this one was quite um, heavy, I can say. Yeah, it was. I I, yeah. I clicked into your art station. There were so many poses. She was sitting. She was standing. Yeah. She was walking. She didn't have the di diamond in her hand. And uh, I mean, you must have drawn her like twenty or thirty times. I I mean, yeah. I even saw her in the nude. You know, like little <laughs> outlines in the nude. So yeah, how it it was such a an important piece of you know of uh, Crucible of War of that set. Uh, yeah, wh why did you paint uh, tr draw her in like twenty plus different iterations? Was it requested of you of uh, Legend Story uh, Studios? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was also because I'm, when I'm doing something, whatever I'm doing, uh, art related, of course, mm -hmm. it's like I'm, I'm really um, you know I want to get the best. Out of what I can do, you know. Absolutely. So, so it was both from my side and from um, uh, from Legend Story the mm -hmm. same, you know. Like they wanted to get like the best out of this, uh, the best possible out of this uh, assignment of as well for me. Yeah. So, so it was. Um, they were asking for some changes, and I was I was thinking even further away. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I'm doing like more changes than this or better changes or you know like spending more time but time didn't matter for this one uh, and for others too it's like you know when i'm starting something i just want to get like really something pristine of something course of course the highest quality possible so yeah but um <clears throat> basically i got um 
um, about nine reviews for this or eight reviews. Eight or nine reviews? So like, yeah, it was like going back and forth like eight or nine times for this one. Okay. It was first stage, it was the design. And then uh, the design, it was like basically the sketch, first sketch of the design. Mm -hmm. And then designing the clothes and then designing the face. Yep. And then designing the pose. And the action, finally, yes, so yes. Like, okay, let's get into the illustration and uh, try out and see how, how this fits with, uh, with, with all the environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, like the brief was a bit more complex. Mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it was specified in a brief that also um, uh, from one window, you could see, you know, the, the city outside. Mm -hmm. But since it was like high, high elevation, Yep. The room was like really high. Uh, I thought, you know, instead of focusing too much on the window and seeing things outside, I could, I could um, better maybe. Like an know, interior, right? An interior with the table, exactly. with the, yeah. Yeah. With the adornments. So I just drove that part mm -hmm. and I focused mostly on the character and the illustration and the, um, the environment there, like the table. Uh, the items on the table and so uh, that was <clears throat> that was about like when I got to the illustration when I got into the illustration basically it was almost uh, already so uh, I think it was fifth or sixth review oh wow so it was a lot of you know like okay. we both like um, <clears throat> me and uh, and Robbie I don't know I mean you know Ruby. I do not know Robin, no. No, okay, no, it's like, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know if you want to be mentioned. But yeah, it's, he's in the, it's the CEO of the company. Mm -hmm. With, yeah, uh, he's part of Legend Story Studios, probably the art director or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, okay. and the director and the, uh, <clears throat> he's, usually he's giving me the feedbacks. Mm -hmm. I mean, now, of course, like their team is, it's increasing uh, and other guys, um, like, Another um, uh, artist took over or for some illustrations. Okay. But mostly, anyway, I was working with him with, with this one, and mostly I'm talking with him. Okay. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so I was about like the sixth situation when we start working on illustration, the proper illustration. Yep. And in that moment, we both knew quite, I guess, at least for myself, we both knew. Like that, uh, that will be very promising. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. By the sixth time, you're like, yes, this is what we want Cheyenne to look like. And speaking yeah, of exactly. Cheyenne, um, did you have like a, a live model or did you model Cheyenne after anybody? Uh, I usually gather a lot of references. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my, my, for this one, I think I had... 20, 30 references. Oh, really? Different, yeah, different wow. uh, poses, different uh, images, women, girls. Okay. Like, different uh, haircuts, and but the character itself, mm -hmm. as I'm doing um, usually, uh, if not all the time, uh, I'm um, I'm designing from scratch, but based on references, of course. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking at some some features that some um, specific person has like i don't know let's say uh, i want to take some part of the you know like the, the eyes or you know this type of um, uh, specific uh, let's say greens or i don't know yep. like, you uh, know, the like, facial gestures yes yes yeah exactly so i'm using references mm -hmm. uh, but the character itself is made from scratch basically from scratch so i'm wow. just Looking at something, I like that. I'm trying to sketch it. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm trying to understand it and to to incorporate in my my work. So it's not from uh, it's not a person. Not a person. Oh wow, it's it's just a creative. Person. It's, okay. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's creative. I, I I have to say, Mihail, in terms of facial gestures, whatever you did, whatever you decided to capture her mouth, she's got this very stern. Sorry, I don't want to sound offensive, but like a, a bitch face. You you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, did you did you think specifically to do that? Because she's now like the yeah. Mona Lisa of Flesh and Blood. <laughs> More or less, yes. Uh, it was also like uh, as as you as you mentioned earlier, like in, in my station, yes, indeed. There are this also this uh, uh, faces. Uh, 
exploration mm -hmm. like four or five. Oh, really? I I had even, yeah, I think I had even more in four or five faces, like different faces. Mm -hmm. And eventually, uh, we both uh, pick up this uh, this one. Okay. You know, I did like more angelic one and like mm -hmm. more more like a childish and mm -hmm. more like uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, more mature, mature. Or, you know, yep. Yep. finally uh, eventually we, we choose this one you got the feisty like, one this is, yeah. <laughs> yeah it has to be more like a, uh it, it's, it has to have some some deeper yep. layers of course of course not just it's good or bad be, yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely she can be like a lot of a lot of a lot of things you can think about mm -hmm. although she don't show up mm -hmm. if you don't show it like she can do a lot of stuff like that. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely, Mihail. Yeah. <laughs> it it came out wonderfully in, in the end. Um, I, I don't want to only dwell on Cheyenne, but one more question. One more question. Yeah, sure. Are, are you familiar with um, a pretty iconic uh, drawing, uh, Vesuvian Doppelganger from Quentin Hoover? Um, I don't know by the name. Okay. It's a, it's a very iconic magic card, probably one of the top mm -hmm. 10 arts in magic where there's a shapeshifter I mean, I mean, back to forth. Yeah, it's yeah. two of them. It's a blue card, and they're mm -hmm. they're drawing. They're holding an orb, and the other one's holding an orb. So it's like a mirror image, and it's also yeah, a shapeshifter. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a lot. I, I have a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of print of prints, but yeah, it's inspirational. Yep. Stuff, yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah, in, in my in my references and stuff. So yeah. Oh, you saw it before. Okay. 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. Just just checking because. There is a lot of, uh, and if anything, this is only to um, recognize your artwork because one of the most famous artists, probably top three in the past 30 years of Magic the Gathering was Quentin Hoover. And they're mm -hmm. comparing your art, Cheyenne, Diamond Gemini, she's oh a shapeshifter, <laughs> no, to Steven no, Doppelganger. So, hey, that's that's very good company to be compared to, Mihail. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, I'm, I'm glad of, it's like, yeah unexpected it was like as i said i mean i really want to have the best out of my works and you know to get the best result but uh it was also for me it was quite unexpected you know Absolutely. Like it was uh, it was even for 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 my really you know uh, very uh, very demandful uh, mm -hmm. standard it was quite high also for Abs me, no it, it was amazing yeah yes. so it's going like even better than expected you know it's oh like with every brush I, I i i i with every stroke with every brush it was like hmm, interesting yeah it wants more and more and more and more and more and more it's like wow <laughs> and you really you really brought her to life i'm i'm going to have that piece in my living room for many many years to come so i really appreciate you and your work there by the okay. way um You've got other pieces in flesh and blood, like uh, the mentor, the warrior mentor Minerva. You've got Crush the Weak, Dread Screamer. I don't know if I'm I'm missing any, but um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's similar of them, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's also like I did sort of some some environments. Yeah, um, some are not published yet, so I cannot talk about. Let's not, we're not we're not gonna I'm not gonna press you about kingdoms <laughs> or the future set. Yeah, they will show up anyway. I mean, of course, they will show up. And but of the one. of the pieces that are published so far. What what is your favorite? Is is Cheyenne your favorite, or does that mean the most to you because you spent the most time? The one published so far. Yeah. From the ones published so far. Uh, yeah, I think. I mean, it's hard, you know. Like I, I love all my illustrations. They're like your children, <laughs> I right? Illustrations more or less, but it's like I cannot say like I love one more than the other, or I like more one than another. But probably, I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I think the Gemini is the Gemini, Cheyenne. Yeah, I think this is like probably the the one that I love the most. Love the most. Also, like, I like a lot. Uh, uh, Crush the week. Crush because, the week. Absolutely. Yeah, I, think, I think that was the first. Yeah. Okay. Don't and worry. We're fast. we're not going to tell your other illustrations. We won't <laughs> let them know. That's quite fast. I mean, that was that was going like really fast in mm -hmm. the process. Uh, really fast. Okay. Uh, and I enjoy it a lot, uh, but also Minerva. Minerva, okay. Yeah, Minerva. 
it was uh, done quite recently, not very recent, but rec more recent, way more recent than yep, the yep. And uh, I had a really great time also working on it. Absolutely. And uh, as usual, the guys, they give me a lot of uh, freedom. Freedom. I mean, they have yeah. they have uh, demands and they ask for revisions and, and for changes for stuff, but uh, it's not like you know, uh, scratch. You know, get, get like you drop everything. Yeah, drop everything and do it all over. No, 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 no. No, no. Yep. It's like just touches. You know, here and there. You know, so they give me basically a lot of uh, a lot of freedom to you know to invent the character, to okay. come up with ideas and stuff. And uh, with this one also, it was. Uh, quite long process, mm -hmm. but very um, fruitful for me and for hopefully also, also for the game. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Uh, just, just a quick question. Uh, on a lot of your pieces, I, I, I looked at ArtStation because I wanted to enjoy more of your artwork. I saw an ArtStation, a lot of, a lot of the pieces said uh, photo bashing or overpaint. What, what does that mean? What is photo bashing? What is overpaint? Uh, yeah, it's like no photo bash, no overpaint. It's like um, uh, it's a process. Of, it's a way of, of um, it's a method of okay. painting. Okay. Which implies pictures. Okay. So I'm trying uh, because nowadays it's like it's quite. I mean, it's every um, every. Uh, graphic designer or painter or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. every artist, digital artist, um, it's, uh, they have their own kind of doing this. Mm -hmm. Some people, some uh, digital artists, they are doing uh, this photo bashing stuff yep. or overpaint. Mm -hmm. Some others, like me, they are doing more like, uh, let's say, kind of a traditional mm -hmm. uh, painting, you know. So uh, the difference is that uh, I'm trying to use the less amount of photographs I know, got directly it. in the work. Okay. So I'm not. So I'm avoiding that as much as possible. Most of my works they don't have any photo in there. Oh, okay. Okay. The photo is let me say um, because a photo can be let's say when you do an environment. Mm -hmm. You can take a picture of a mountain or of a building or yep. uh, you know and place it in the car in the in the work in the, the painting uh, okay okay yes yes and, you know, and then uh blend it in photoshop and make it look like uh, it's painted or you know like but I i'm got trying it. to avoid this kind of process because it's uh like i'm 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 also painting digital uh traditionally okay okay so for me it's not helping a lot uh, a lot um, at all to to use this process, you know, like uh, using pictures, absolutely, because uh, they won't help me when I have to basically draw on a board, or, you know, like uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. So not everything is on the computer. Your process, you're also a classical artist as well, meaning that yeah. you use paints yeah. and original materials, canvas, and you draw everything out before it goes on the computer. Right. Yeah, not all, all the time, but uh, a lot of time. Yeah, I'm doing sketches and I'm just drawing them as uh, with, with pencil and stuff. Okay. And then I'm uh, either scanning or take a snapshot, or and then I'm uh, I'm continuing it in Photoshop if, if it's needed. Absolutely. Of course, like sometimes for the sake of speeding the process, I'm doing it directly in Photoshop or in a 2D software. Okay. So, because it's faster, of course. But uh, as I said, like for me, it doesn't make too much sense to use the photo bashing method mm -hmm. because anyway, it won't, it won't, uh, it won't help me in also in my my traditional works. So I cannot just take a picture and you know, uh, uh, I don't know, like glue it on. on of my course, <laughs> yes, sir. So take a photo know, and fine. and draw on top of it. Now, now I understand yeah, the photo yeah, bashing exactly. part. So this is like, that's why I'm not. I'm not so and I'm specifying this. Because some uh, employers, some companies, um, or some uh, private person, that I'm, they ask me for, let's say, a commission or something. Mm -hmm. They want to know because, uh, as you ask, you know, this picture, like this artwork, 
the, the, the character? Is it a real person? Yeah. Because it's like if I'm using the picture, that person can actually, you know, also claim. You know, oh, claim say, oh, that's me. Person. That's me. You need to pay me yeah. to use my likeness or something yeah, like that, something, right? You know, so it's like I'm, I'm trying to avoid anything like this. That's why I'm specifying also like some uh, works that you've, you've seen. It's obvious that I'm not using pictures because it's like it's really brushing. And, of course. You know, like this kind of, really loose type of, type of painting so mm -hmm. it's not uh, it's not there's no point in that to use Un understood pictures. understood yeah so yeah this is the idea with the photo I, I i got <laughs> it thank thank you for giving me a, a detailed answer now now i'm learning more about art this is uh <laughs> much much more involved than what i learned in college so this is really appreciated yeah. and um you've got other art styles mihail as well that i noticed in your art station for example I saw a lot of uh, futuristic pieces. I saw some zombie pieces, some horror pieces, and a lot of the provocative, you know, the the, the pieces that young guys like, right? So a, a good combination. I also saw some stuff like uh, the Mandalorian and Grogu, mm, the, yes, the, the Mandalorian yeah. and the child. So I, I take it you're a Star Wars fan, right? Yeah, totally. Totally, cool, I'm to cool. Yeah, I'm totally into it. Yes, it's like... Uh, Star Wars, it's uh, it's one of my favorite best. Of course, like I like Matrix, I mm -hmm. like Alien. Okay, I yeah, like I saw a couple like, Aliens yeah. pictures. So yeah, you just draw yeah. everything from your different references. So mm -hmm. Mihel, I just want to ask you. I don't want to get too much into your business life at all, but from my experience in Magic: The Gathering, um, those pieces were like I think uh, eight by six or six by eight smaller pieces, and they were uh, oil on canvas. And the artists, they kept the original pieces and they would sell them on the secondary market to help uh, subsidize or supplement their income. How mm. how about, uh, what, what happens with your artwork and how the intellectual property with Legend Story Studios of the Crush the Week or the Minerva or the Cheyenne? Do you own those pieces or does it co-owned? How, how does that work? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm allowed to... Uh, to display them, mm -hmm. I'm allowed to sell prints of them. Prints, okay. Yes, uh, but uh, as far as I know, I'm not allowed to sell the uh, the file. The file, so, got it, got it. So, but that anyway, I won't sell it because it's like uh, because that would be would be a master print or something, you know. Of course, so whoever of course. Whoever had that can do a lot of prints. Of course, no, no, that that makes but, sense, uh, right? It's like it's like uh, the uh, it's like as I would sell a a painting. Yep. And that would be like if I'm if I'm selling the painting, then everybody can have like or I won't sell it. I cannot sell it twice. That's the thing. Understood. Uh, Understood. And uh, yeah, and I can. As far as I know, I don't. I'm not allowed to sell that. Okay. It's a PSD file. Of course. But other than that, I can sell my prints. I can sell uh, my. I don't know, like, part of the prints mm -hmm. or you know, whatever comes. Like a if limited I'm, run of prints, kind of like what you did with Cheyenne. So, yeah, was this a a good experience for you? Like, for example, would you uh, consider doing this again for Minerva or Crush the Week? considering it but there was an issue now i learned my lesson <laughs> oh what's the issue please please yeah, share it was uh, it was really crazy i, I wouldn't expect it um but uh i was uh, i sent this uh this limited uh series i sent it to several person in the world mm -hmm. including singapore including um Australia, I guess. Australia, maybe. Singapore, New Zealand, maybe? No? No, I don't know. In New Zealand, no, because yeah, it's uh, not, not yet. It's, okay, yeah. not yet. And the uh, uh, US. Okay, of course. So, uh, but I think it was another country, too. But anyway, like 10 prints, and then I sell like several of them to, uh, to several persons. Of course. And um, <clears throat> every, like, all, all the other, all the prints that I sent, uh, let's say in the uh, in Singapore, in Australia, and, you know, they, they got the destination. They got to the destination in about five, eight days. Okay. But in the U.S. Oh no! 
What happened? Yeah, I mean, you are the you are the lucky one, oh. I would say, because you got it uh, in in about two months almost. Two months, okay. But uh, there are still two persons in this moment. Oh no! Who don't, they, they haven't done it. No. Oh wow! So so, so they, there's two out of ten that didn't receive their Cheyennes. Yes. Yeah. Oh no! Okay. It was like, uh, I mean, I'm I'm still I'm still chatting with them. Okay. And I'm trying to help, but it's like it's, I, I cannot do anything. The, the 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 works are somewhere like the posters are, are somewhere in the custom. Custom. The US. Okay. And this is like from twenty uh, seven of March. March? Oh my God! Yes. Wow. So, so they they're are, stuck since late March. Yeah, it's like it's, they, they are stuck somewhere there, and that's it. Okay. And that's why I'm like I'm considering, but it's like you know I have to maybe if I'm doing it. Again, I would have to send it by DHL or some other like some something else than the the, the regular postal okay. services. Well, because, let, uh, let me yeah. just tell you, I, I I ship a lot of valuable collectibles. So FedEx in my whole life, I never had a problem with Federal something, Express. Yeah, so so yeah, like that. of course, like this will increase a bit the price of the shipment because here in Sweden it's quite expensive. I mean, it's like a forty something. Uh, dollars okay send. Only, only this uh, like quite light weight of package. course of course uh, if i would send it via fedex then it would be a bit more expensive but i think uh, if i'm doing it again if i'm doing another uh, limited print uh, i will send it via fedex message yep yep because Some, it's like it's a premium yeah, regular service. Post like, oh no no, <laughs> no never again usps is pretty bad we we as Americans we we know we know so you learned your lesson once next time use either uh, UPS or FedEx and oh just to let you know if you ever do this again I would love to be involved if you've got other people in the U S you could bundle the prints together send them to me I'll I'll reship them that I'll, I I'd be glad that to help you yeah. so I mean, yeah we will keep in touch anyway probably and, for sure uh, for yeah. sure I mean when it comes to this uh, I have to also to to get together like a, a fair amount of people you know of course uh, so i want to print like i don't i don't want also to print too many because it's like when there are too many i mean also it's like you can find it everywhere of so course it has to be like yeah you know, exclusive it, it needs to be exclusive exactly. absolutely exactly. I, yeah. I get you I'm, I'm a collector i know i know and i, I respect that it's not you don't want to bastardize your your hard work you want it to be limited to whatever, five pieces, three pieces, yeah, 10 exactly. pieces, yeah, not like exactly. 500 pieces or 100 pieces, yeah, right? No, no, I don't so, want to do that. Yeah, and yeah. and I, I really appreciate your work. I really, I thank you for letting me share a piece of Cheyenne in all of her majesty. And that's, that's one of the great things about uh, the flesh and blood artwork, especially digitized, because like I said, the magic artwork was about this big, but the Cheyenne artwork, oh my God, larger than life, it hangs up on the wall. <laughs> You know, it's almost like uh, you know something that came out of the Renaissance. You know, it's it's, it's a it's a beautiful piece, beautiful. Thank you. Thank um, you so much. I, I don't want to keep you forever, Mihail. Although this was a, a huge pleasure. Is there anything you mm -hmm. can tell uh, the community and our viewers uh, to help artists in Flesh and Blood? Any way we can help? I mean, you are helping me already. You know, uh, by playing the game, mm -hmm. and um, we both. I think I'm pretty sure actually we both uh, have like a really great time playing it and drawing it. Drawing it, it. I'm playing and know. collecting it. <laughs> exactly. So this is this is the the, the help that uh, you are giving me, and I'm trying, you know, to to offer uh, the highest quality possible. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I got to say, you're one of the top artists in Flesh and Blood. I appreciate you. The rest of the community appreciates you. And this is the first interview with any artist that I know of. Hopefully, you and your colleagues will be open to other interviews so that we can be in touch and keep you plugged in with the community. So, Mihail, I really appreciate the time today. Thank you so Thank much. You. And yeah. thanks again for being the father of Cheyenne. I appreciate you, man. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Thank All right. You. Have a great day now. I'm going to disconnect. Take care.